I found this follow your dreams at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start by taking the metal dream off. It had a little tiny screw. And I'm going to start by covering this with Wise Owl white primer. And I'm going to do two coats and allow it to dry. I found these ovals at Michael's. You can also use leftover Easter eggs uh, from the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna paint these black. They're just oval shapes. You can get them in a, they came in a package. There was several in a package. And once black, I allowed that to dry. And then I painted the circle that was primed also black. And this is just a plaque on the little stand. I drew the oval shape on a piece of paper and cut out slightly smaller circle and traced it with a chalk pencil onto my black oval and I filled the center in with white. which is Snow Owl by Wise Owl. And I did two coats. I had this heart, I picked it up, I believe, at Target last year for Christmas. Uh, they were little ornaments, but you can use a heart cut out from the Dollar Tree left over from Valentine's or I'm sure you can find at Hobby Lobby or Michael's as well. And I painted this in the Wise Owl White Primer. Once I had everything dry, I took this gingham stencil. You can get these at Hobby Lobby for pretty inexpensive. Um, and I'm just stenciling in the gingham check or the buffalo check, whichever you wanna call it onto my oval white parts of the shape and my heart. And allow all this to dry. Once dry, I took my heart and I glued it to the center of my circle plaque. And I'm using some of the Jenga blocks on my plaque and then I'm gonna glue the oval shapes on top of the gingham, kind of in a slight turn, one to the left and one to the right. I found this panda head at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to remove the little hanger that comes out from the bottom portion of it. And I'm going to glue this to the upper part of the heart on the plaque using Elmer's wood glue and just a little bit of hot glue and allow all of this to dry. I'm gonna take a little box from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna paint it in black, all sides and the insides as well. I'm gonna glue it to the back side of my little panda here using Elmer's wood glue and a little bit of hot glue just to, for that instant hold while my glue dries. And then I'm just gonna put some crayons and some markers in the back of my panda. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, transfer, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much.